Before we delve into our next story, I want you to listen to a statement. It's from last month when the Taliban's offensive was gaining strength and Islamabad was being accused of aiding its onslaught. This is when Imran Khan Niazi, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, said that his government had nothing to do with the Taliban and neither does it speak for them. Listen to this. What the Taliban are doing or not doing is has nothing to do with us. You know, you have to uh, speak to Taliban about what they're doing. We're not responsible. Uh, neither are we some spokespersons for Taliban. You heard that. We're not responsible for their actions. Neither are we their spokespersons. This was said on the 29th of July. It's been barely two weeks and Imran Khan is doing exactly what he denied doing, acting like a spokesperson for the Taliban. We told you how peace talks in Doha have begun and all stakeholders are trying to work on a settlement, a power-sharing deal between the Taliban and the Afghan government. The Pakistani Prime Minister, being a stakeholder in this conflict, was asked to comment on the peace talks. Do you know what he said? A political settlement looks difficult because the Taliban won't talk peace with Kabul as long as Ashraf Ghani remains the president. You have to watch this. The political settlement is looking difficult right now. And it's looking difficult right now because the Taliban are refusing and we tried. I, I persuaded, tried to persuade the Taliban. This is months back, three or four months back. The Taliban senior leadership came here and we tried to persuade them to come to some sort of a political settlement. The only thing that would stop uh, Afghanistan from descending into uh, anarchy is a political settlement. Uh, but unfortunately, the Taliban, when they were here, they felt that um, they, would not, they refused to talk to Ashraf Ghani. Their condition is that as long as Ashraf Ghani is there, we are not going to talk to the Afghan government. Does he sound like a spokesperson? A political broker? Why is Imran Khan, the Prime Minister of a country, speaking on behalf of a terrorist group? Why is he giving voice to the stance of terrorists? These are questions that all stakeholders in Afghanistan must ask. And when they do, they must also look at another statement where Imran Khan directly attacked the Afghan government for what he called their posturing in blaming Pakistan for the debacle. Listen to this statement now. They are now trying everything to somehow get the Americans back into Afghanistan. You know, the whole posturing right now is that the, they're blaming the Americans for this debacle, Pakistan and the Americans. And they are trying to somehow uh, persuade the Americans to actually intervene. There's a reason they call him Taliban Khan. Because for far too long, Imran Khan has acted like an apologist of the Taliban. He has espoused narratives that have given legitimacy to terrorists. This activism dates back to his days as an opposition leader. Look at this headline from January 2009 when two terrorists had been put on trial in London on charges of encouraging guerrilla warfare in Pakistan. Imran Khan appeared as a witness in the court proceedings and you know what he said. Let me quote from what he said. I would do the same as terror suspects. Well now this man is the Prime Minister of Pakistan and not much seemed to have changed. His government is openly supporting the actions of the Taliban. The only difference is that now he's being called out internationally. For almost a week now, a hashtag has been trending on social media. Hashtag Sanction Pakistan. You may have come across it. It's the top trend in Afghanistan, the second most trending hashtag in Pakistan, with a lot of support from the international community. Islamabad says that bots are trending this hashtag. Well, we decided to go through the accounts, and here's what we found. The posts are coming from verified citizens, from journalists, from activists, and diplomats internationally from Afghanistan and several other countries. They all want Pakistan to be sanctioned for its support to the Taliban. The question is, will world leaders take note? Will global bodies take action? Will they sanction Pakistan? Well, we already know the answer, but we'll keep asking the questions nonetheless. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.